what's your best advice for entrepreneurs on getting started? That's an interesting question. Um, I think we've covered it a little bit at the beginning in terms of how you think about taking the leap, but I would say, you know, I think one of the first things, like I'm a big believer um, in lean startup, in this idea that often what you as an entrepreneur think the market wants or users want is a little bit different from what they actually want, and so it's really helpful to go out there with, you know, a minimum viable product and test it. And we really did this when we launched um, our company profiles on the Muse. We originally, so we were accepted to Y Combinator in, um, I guess we were accepted in November of 2012, and we, sorry, November of 2011, and we started in January of 2012. So we show up at YC with, you know, these just wide eyes, like full of ideas, and we were going to build the most amazing job search product that you've ever seen. And so we mocked up all the features we wanted and like, how great it was going to be. And when we went into one of our first office hours with Paul Graham, he took one look and he was like, this is way too complicated. You're going to be in beta for a year. You know, you're never going to actually get it in front of users. You need to build something faster and you need to just launch already, like just get it out there. And so it was a big kind of moment for us realizing that we would never get started if we waited until we were perfect. Instead, we wanted to get like one thing. And so we basically set ourselves like a two-week deadline, and uh, Alex pulled an overnighter and redesigned like a really streamed down version of our company profile, which was the first thing. Because it didn't need a thousand companies on the platform to work. It didn't need a thousand users to work. It was a standalone way to test if people were interested in this new way of exploring job opportunities through the culture of a company through photos of their office, through videos of what it's actually like to work at the company. And that's the product that people now know is the Muse. But when we launched it, we literally just had five companies and this kind of janky landing page. And it was attached to the Daily Muse and to our existing community. So we had a ready-made audience. But we pushed it out there and then we just tracked everything. I think when you're thinking about getting started, you know, you want to have a couple iterations of your product and then you want to understand why something works and why it doesn't. And so we used metrics tools like Crazy Egg and Mixpanel to, um, to track mouse movements, clicks, to understand how people were interacting with the product. We also used a lot of feedback forms. So we had one place for users and individuals to give us feedback, answer questions, open response. And then we had another way for companies to indicate whether they were interested. And when we had 100 companies sign up within 24 hours that they wanted to sign up for, pay, have a profile, and list jobs on our platform, we knew that there was a, you know, a cord that we were touching. And so um, it helped us make the decision to invest more and to move forward. So I, I think that you know, when you're thinking about getting started as an entrepreneur, it can be really helpful to say, you know, what's the minimum that I need to do in order to test whether this works? And um, it's interesting as well. You know, when I think about when we launched The Muse, uh, we were called the Daily Muse. We still are. We have the Daily Muse as our community publication. And when we launched it, we had a WordPress site with fantastic career advice and community that sent out job listings via email. And a lot of people thought, you know, because that was where we started, that that was all we were ever going to be. And so I do think there's something valuable about at least communicating to people where you're going, even if you don't have it in that first step. So, you know, I, I've said this before, but if I could redesign the front page of the Daily News for the day that we launched it to the world, I would, I would have it look a lot like it did then, um, but I would put tabs up top that said, you know, search for jobs, connect with mentors, um, training and professional development. And then if you clicked on that, you know, it would take you to a page that says like, this is coming soon, sign up with your email to learn more. Because the number of people who click and the number of people who sign up is really indicative of what people want next. And having those tabs in the first place will also help communicate to your audience. Right now we have one thing for you, but we are planning to have five things or whatever it is. Um, but that said, I mean, if we had done that, I'm sure we would have discovered other things I wish we'd done. So you can never look too far back. I think it's important in startups to be focused on what's next and what's forward. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that answered that question.